This video will explain how to make an EPAD research access request. You can download a list of currently running research projects if you would like to collaborate with them. Just follow the supplied link on the website. To begin your own EPAD research access application, click on the Begin Application button on the ERAP webpage. You should see this form. Select whether you are an EPAD partner or an external researcher. Please try to use an institutional email address if you have one. This makes verification much easier for the Research Access Administration team. Ensure you carefully read through the privacy policy before continuing. Then, submit your response. You'll receive an email acknowledging your submission while the Research Access Administration team sets up your WiseHive account. Once your account has been created, you will receive another email that tells you to follow the supplied link and to select Forgot My Password on the login screen. Make sure you save the link for the WiseHive page in case you need to return to an application or submit a new one. Click this and enter your email address. you'll receive another email that allows you to set the password for your WiseHive account. Now you can log in. When you do, click on your application Then select to edit it. Select whether you need access to one of the quality controlled data releases or anything else, such as images or samples. Now add the details of you and your research team. Make sure you add their mobile phone number as this is used for extra security when logging into the research environment. Complete as much of the application form as possible, and then submit it. You can save a draft of your application at any time, so that you can complete it at a later date. You'll receive an email acknowledging the submission of your application. Once processed by the Research Access Administration team, you will be contacted by Iridia with your login details for the Iridia Digital Research Environment, where your data will be held. Then, you're up and running. From this point, the Iridia workspace and all the data in it belongs to you. There is no need to contact EPAD for approvals or further access. You'll also receive access to a separate service, the Iridia Dataset Library. This acts as a dictionary for the EPAD data releases. If you have any difficulties with either the EPAD research access process or the Iridia research environment, please refer to the supporting media and contact sections on the ERAP webpage. Among other resources, you can find the data information packs here, which contain essential information on your requested data release.